Hello, in this session, we will be starting off with your first service, which is your IAM service. Now, IAM, it stands for Identity and Access Management. So, in this session, we will be looking at an introduction or an overview of what your IAM service is and what is the usage, what exactly it does for us. So, we'll just look at an introduction to this service. Now, in the last session, we looked at your console walkthrough, how you can navigate uh, your, your AWS console, what are the various options that are available in the AWS console, that's what we have seen. Now once again, before we start off with this session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So let's get started with this. Now IAM, like I said, it stands for Identity and Access Management and you can use this to basically control uh, the access to your AWS services. So this is a web service which helps you to securely control the access to your AWS services. So you can use this to control who is authenticated and who is authorized. Um, uh, who You can use this to centrally manage all the permissions that control which AWS resources uh, users can access. So basically, you know, at a user level, uh, what your users can access, what your users cannot access, all that can be uh, controlled by making use of this service. All right. So by default when you create your aws account you 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 have one user which is the root user all right which is the admin user which has full access now if you want to share your account with other users we can make use of this service uh, and generally this is a practice at an organization level where we will have one common aws account which will be shared by multiple people and then we will be using this iam service to control the access what the users can access, what the users cannot access, all that will be controlled. So we can use IAM to control who is authenticated and who is authorized to use the AWS resources. All right. So basically who can log into your account and what resources they can access, all that can be controlled by making use of this IAM service. So by default, whenever we sign up or whenever we create our AWS account, we begin with one single sign-in identity, all right? And this user, we call it as your root user. And this root user will have complete access to all the AWS resources and all the services in the account. So whatever the account we have created, this user, we call it as your root user. And this user has full access to the AWS account. So this user can do whatever they want within this AWS account, all right? Now, this identity, like I said, is called the AWS root user and is accessed by signing in by using the email address and the password that we have used when we sign up or when we create the AWS account. Now, AWS recommends that we do not use this root user for the everyday task. So, you know, from the security perspective, AWS recommends that we do not use this root account for everything like you know for your day-to-day -day activity uh, rather AWS recommends to make use of a user account so using this IAM service we can create a user account and then we start using that user account to start working with your AWS so this is just from the security perspective now AWS identity and access management is a core infrastructure service and this provides the foundation for control uh, based on identities within AWS. All right, so this is one of the core infrastructure that we have and we can use this to control uh, all the access to your AWS services. So we use IAM every time we access the AWS account. So every time you are connecting to the AWS account, we are ideally making use of your IAM to access the AWS account. All right, now how we use IAM it differs depending on the work that we do in AWS and with the AWS resources. So maybe you're a developer. Now developer will have a certain set of permissions or you're an admin. The admin will have a certain set of permissions. So depending on your uh, work, depending on your role, the IAM also differs. All right. Now, how does your IAM work? So IAM provides the infrastructure necessary to control the authentication and authorization for the AWS account. So this service will provide you with the all the authentication and authorization that we can uh, do. Now the IAM infrastructure is illustrated by the following diagram. So we'll have one AWS account and within that we can have a user account or a federated user account or a role. All right. So using this, we will be sending a request to the AWS account, which will authenticate. Now once the authentication is done, 
depending on the permissions that we have given to that user we will have the authorization which are nothing but your permissions the policies and based on those permissions and policies we should be able to access the services all the resources within the aws all right so how this works first a human user or an application uses a signing credentials to authenticate with aws so first we will log in to the aws account authentication is provided by matching the signing credentials to a principal which can be your im user federated user im role or application which is trusted by the aws account now next a request is made to grant the principal access to resources access is granted in response to an authorization request for example when you first sign into the console and uh, are on the console home page you are not accessing a specific service so you know first what we do is we give our username and password as a user we give our username and password and we log into the console now when we give the username and password a request is made to the iam to authenticate right whether the user is uh, authenticated or not so once the user is authenticated we will land to this page now here we are not at accessing any of the services all right so when you select a service the request for authorization is sent to that service and it looks to see if your identity is on the list of authorized users what policies that might be in effect so here let's say if i click on this ec2 now the information will be sent to the ec2 service and this will validate whether the user has the authorization or not and if the user has the authorization i should be able to access the service all right now authorization request can be made by principals within your aws account or from another aws account that you trust once authorized the principal can take action or perform operations on resources in your aws account for example the principal could launch a new amazon elastic compute cloud instance modify iam group permissions or delete amazon simple storage service buckets all right so you know once we are able to access a service we can do uh, all the operations within this service like launching an instance creating a volume creating a snapshot all those things can be done by you working with this service so this is how your iam works all right so once again we give the username we authenticate once we authenticate we get to the console from the console we navigate to the service now the service will validate whether the user has the necessary permissions or not if the user has the necessary permissions they should be able to take any actions within the service all right so that's basically your introduction to the iam service that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video